Hey, Creative Weirdos. Today, we're going to look at an amazing introduction to characters in the first act. Though I will skip the world building or the continuation of the films, you know, lore and everything like that in the timeline of these films. And the film I'm talking about is 2024's Alien Romulus. What I love about this film is how the two lead characters are set up so quickly, so beautifully. You're setting up the problems, you're setting up the issues. You're also building an emotional connection to these characters of Rain and Andy. So just to let you know, there's spoilers, and I'm, but I'm not going to do the whole film. I'm just doing the first act and the introduction to the characters till you get to the inciting incident of the film. So the film starts out with a dream and it's beautiful it's a visual setup to what rain wants and dreams of so rain spoilers obviously is she's an orphan orphaned on a mining colony a very depressive thing and showing the sun in this environment is a beautiful thing because she wants to get out of this hellscape of servitude to be a serf essentially there is a little bit of hope in this character's life. The PA system is very amazing because it has a lot of exposition and there's nice ways to do that either through other people's dialogue that you see in the background or anything like that. You set up these little things about the world and the things that are predicaments for them. The beautiful thing about Andy is these jokes are very comforting, they're cheesy, but down the line, that's what they are. They give her ideas and everything like that. So setting up these aspects, these sweet, cheesy, and Andy being very vulnerable is honestly a very, it's a very smart thing to do, but also very quickly a lovable character who will shift on the rest of the characters. But the shift from helpless to knowing everything to not helpless is very scary, very amazing. And for a typical horror, sci-fi horror, honestly, this is one of my favorites. I never thought I would really like this film. I just wanted to see it visually. But the way it was done, the way it was written was fucking amazing, especially the beginning of setting up everything. If you have third act issues like I've had in the past, it always stems from not setting things up in the first act, but not doing everything on the nose, honestly, and setting up Andy this way and setting up Rain this way, where Rain wants to get the F out of this colony, but she's in servitude and they, you know, mess with her and they mess with her dream. It's, it's, it's sad, beautiful, and endearing. And Andy as a character is very, like one of my favorite characters. Please, cause I'm on this seafood diet. Like seafood, I eat it. It's so bad. You always laughed at that one. Yeah, when I was 12. Cute. Sure it's Mr. Finch. We own three months today. He'll call again. Well, maybe he won't be here when he does. The fact that he'll call again shows that something's been happening repeatedly. She's in a predicament. And using these little short little things and these little lines, they give you a sense of, oh, this has happened before. Not to be always on the nose. See, the... The audio and the sound and dialogue in the background is just inundating you with so much information, which is good. Even that right there, this conversation. It's a scam. The ball's never under the cup that you pick. It's a trick. How am I going to get the money? Money for what? To pay for the horse. Let me get to your boss. You're going to get a horse? I, I want to call it Randy. See, Andy seems helpless, clueless, and you don't know, spoiler, that he's an android. 
because Andrew is supposed to be smart, focused, and know everything. And she's protecting him. And he's off, and you're like, this is a this is a human. You don't know he's an android right away. Mm. The way she gets fucked is like a sense of urgency. She wants to leave. Exposition. Three cycles ago. Lung disease from the mines. It's just me and my brother now. The fact that she calls him his br her brother is it's this connection. Even though you're wondering how, yes, racially, even though it's the future, all these other things, but either way, you know she loves him and look at him. And that's a foreshadowing right there, what, what that kid is doing. That is a, like, a fucking jab. And on top of this, grouping these two horrible things together, her dreams getting fucked, because she's at the precipice of it and leaving, and what's happening to Andy, he's not, now it shows, as you can see, he's an android. So, the writing of Fetty Alvarez and I forgot the other writer is, oh my god, it's solid. You care about these characters in a short amount of time. It's like, what is it like? Four minutes, just over four minutes, five minutes. You love these characters. Look at that, her predicament. Here's the inciting incident. So the way they set it up is honestly, in my opinion, very beautiful. That's why I'm adding this to one of my favorite films, honestly, because it's so well done. You care about these characters. You see how hopeless Andy is, even though it flips down the line where Andy is saving them, but also fucking them over because he has a different prime directive. The setup is so nice. Granted, there is a pre-setup of, you know, acquiring the alien from the previous films in the void of space and that's well and good for a person who is you know into the whole canon of this you know franchise but for me who is not deeply connected to this franchise even though i've watched at least the first one and didn't really care for the other ones other than maybe prometheus which was more science and deep and all it's weird and i love that one but this one is by far my favorite one because of how it gets you in quickly, setting up characters, setting up issues, setting up the theme, setting up all the problems that need to be solved, and also little callbacks that you can see visually. And focusing visually, like showing it rather than saying it, using other characters to use exposition about her name, about the world she's in, what she wants. And then as shit gets, you know, worse, they're in dire straits, she gets a call. And that's the inciting incident, this opportunity that in the beginning you refuse, but then you are forced to take, not forced to take necessarily, but you are in her case, she doesn't want to do it because she doesn't want to jeopardize Andy. But at the same time, she realizes they need to get out of there. It's amazingly set up. So check that out. Though there is no public script that you can download and I can give you, honestly, which is, it sucks because I love to read the script. But the way it's done so far, visually and cinematography and like the writing and the dialogue, everything's on point. There's no real wasted moments, and that's what makes this film really solid as a character introduction, and you really care for these characters. So check out Alien Romulus. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the bell notification for more creative and educational content every week.
or if you need help with your upcoming film or story projects, check out our website and our new guided story structure notebooks that help make plotting your scripts and stories a breeze.